Gary, it's always great to have such important members of the college community joining us here on the Halftime Show. And I am pleased to be joined with Jessica Brown, who is the Educational Equity Coordinator here at Lafayette. And it's a big time for the college as they have just received a grant for the It's On Us campaign, which combats sexual violence on college campuses. So Jessica, first off, congratulations on receiving this grant. Thanks so much. We're really excited. And can you walk us through the process of applying for this grant and who was really involved on getting everything going for getting the grant? Absolutely. Um, so Jennifer Morangos and Maurice Luker in the development office were a huge help in getting this application together and submitted. Um, basically, the state lays out the specific requirements for the application, one of the major ones being what we intend to do with the funds uh, to combat sexual violence on campus. And most important, how will this grant really be utilized here at Lafayette? Right, so we envisioned uh, sort of a three-phase project. The first phase being um, we plan to administer a comprehensive campus-wide sexual violence survey. Um, we're going to use the results from the survey to basically influence the future education and programming needs for campus. Uh, the second phase we're planning is to increase some education and training opportunities both for students and for faculty and staff members who are involved in our investigation and adjudication process. And then finally, the third phase, um, we're planning to ramp up our bystander intervention training by bringing a research-backed bystander intervention program to Lafayette. It all sounds great and a big concern that a lot of people have when it comes to applying for a grant like this is that people might think that a problem such as sexual violence already exists on the campus. Was that a concern for you and your team when it came to applying for this grant? So I think one of the things I keep in mind, I think grants like this exist um, because sexual violence is a huge problem on college campuses all over the country. I don't believe it's a bigger problem here at Lafayette than at other colleges, but I'm so glad that the state recognizes uh, what an important issue it is and allows us to apply for these funds. Oh, for sure. And, you know, you guys just accomplished this great goal in getting the grant. What's next for your office when it comes to trying to improve campus life here at Lafayette? Sure. Um, one of my ongoing goals is um, trying to increase transparency and participation in the reporting process. So I'm always open to opportunities uh, to make that more accessible to students. I'm also really looking forward to partnering more with some student organizations like Cards Against Sexual Assault. Uh, so I think there's a lot of great things on the horizon for Lafayette. You mentioned Pards Against Sexual Assault, which is a big deal here on campus. A lot of our athletes are involved in it as well. How do you think you'll manage to get the athletic department involved as well when it comes to a program like this? Um, I've actually found the athletic department to be really great partners. I know um, so many of the students on campus are just really engaged and concerned with these issues, and they're so important in keeping this conversation going. When it comes to a program like this, a big thing, in my opinion, is that of this kind of program really works to make it easier for victims to reach out. How are you looking to make the whole process like that easier for people on campus and really bring awareness towards the issue? Right, so we're always looking for ways um, to encourage awareness about the reporting process and make it accessible for students. Um, we do this in a couple different ways. So uh, one of the passive ways is just putting posters throughout campus and letting students know how they're able to make reports. Um, we do provide for anonymous reporting through our online website. Um, and we try to make students know there are a variety of ways to report uh, instances of sexual violence. Always great to hear that. And the semester starts at the end of the month. Are there any events that your office is going to look to have once the students do come back for the spring semester? Um, we do have a variety of events we're looking into throughout the semester. Right now, a big portion of our planning time is going into April, which is Sexual Violence Awareness Month. All right, great stuff from you, Jessica. Really important issue being tackled here at Lafayette. And we'd like to thank you and the Office uh, from Campus Life and Educational Equity as well. Thanks so much. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Olivia. Nice job. And Jessica doing a very important job here on campus at Lafayette.